New South Wales Police Roads and Maritime Service this year are uh, leading a national operation, Operation Osroads. The results that we've seen so far, some are very disappointing. Um, we've intercepted or proactively intercepted in New South Wales 48,000 trucks and trailers and from that we've found 3,500 defects, issued over 2,000 infringements for various offences. We've issued 600 future cans. Big issues, the, the significant issues obviously for industry. 13% of the trucks that we are testing we've found to be tampered with to allow the trucks to travel in excess of 100 kilometres an hour. Further, and obviously an emerging trend, 42 drivers positive to drug use. Operations like this morning, Operation Austrans, includes zeroing in on those trucking companies that are found to be operating dangerous practices. Jump out onto the roadway, or in front of a car or, something, or a motorcycle for that matter. So that's a load restraint issue there. Obviously we've inspected 16 units here this morning, almost all of those have got load safety breaches. In particular one truck has been issued a direction to reload the truck, gone away and come back in the same state. Very concerning, very concerning trend. Um, one driver has been found driving under the influence this morning of a drug and obviously he's been issued a banning notice. How, how, how do you break it? What, you pump it? One pump. No brakes. No brakes. Clearly in relation to this, there's quite a considerable load on this truck. The load restraints are inadequate. Um, the load has not been distributed correctly on this vehicle, making it dangerous. It's likely to fall over in a, in a braking, an emergency braking or turning around a curve and there's too much loose matter in this truck. Obviously what will follow this morning is Roads and Maritime Service carrying out an investigation and if necessary issuing improvement notices or charges upon the company. Once Austrians does conclude, obviously the Joint Task Force um, which operates Roads and Maritime Service and other agencies will continue its work in getting fatals and injury collisions involving heavy vehicles down.